wandering around and I've never heard of this company, Solaron. So I found some interesting and very clean cases from Solaron. This is a micro ATX case. We don't see enough of those in the market. It's really pretty. Got two 240s in the front. Hidden, four hidden hard drives, they say. 360 in the front of this one. This one's really sleek. Who are these guys and where did they come from? And why is their stuff so sexy? Looks like we got a dual chamber here. I get a load of that. That is tempered glass. Some tempered glass on this side too. Heat sinks, fans. Really digging the style here. So it uh, looks like they're an OEM. I'm waiting to talk to their boss right now. Let's see what he tells me about where they sell them and how to get these things in the USA. Because the dual chamber one looks really nice. This one really looks really nice. Tempered glass with a mirror over here looks pretty nice. Hi, Mom. Oh, she's dead. Wait. Uh, we've looked at QNAP before, but they're doing a lot right now. Pretty much everything that has to do with extreme storage and extreme video. Let's first start off with this. Uh, this solution here, they've got the giant QNAP uh, NAS right there. And then Thunderbolt 3 will go to your you know, your laptop, your desktop, your whatever, your, your Mac, your PC, Linux, whatever. Um, and then on top of that, you got 10 gig ethernet in the back, so you can run that out to, they gotta go into your data center or whatever, I don't know, you can run the 10 gig ethernet to your computer if you have a, you know, high quality ethernet card in there. Go over to the data center, over to the render farm, whatever. So this is gonna allow you to edit multiple channels of 4K all at the same time. Uh, they got it, they've got it running at a half right there. Ah, I see, I see, cheating. Uh, they've also got their um, internet of things all over the place. Wall plugs, door sensors, and that sort of thing. They have their own video capture software going on here. Um, and hardware, I guess I should say. It also supports 360 streaming on several different services. And it also will uh, store things to your NAS if you want. I guess you could build your own Thunderbolt 3 NAS, but this is already set up to, to work with everything, so that's cool. It even has a, a Blu-ray disc in it. Want to store stuff down to that? I guess you could. Also have a home suite, sort of a, you know, something you can sling media to. Browse through all your files here. That's in their ETS 4.3 home. And then lastly, they also have a full-on surveillance suite, and all this works together with their NAS products. So a lot of cool things that they're doing here with their NAS. There's one right there. I wouldn't mind getting one of these to play with and seeing if it's uh, more suited than, um, you know, running a custom-built NAS yourself. Who knows, maybe for certain applications it would be. AK Waterblocks has got some uh, kits. You can actually buy these new kits, and they're all aluminum. Aluminium, everybody, in the, your place. Solid aluminum on the bottom. So everyone already, before you start smacking your keyboards until your fingers bleed, saying that copper, it must be copper, uh, they found that in their testing, the aluminum, as long as it's solid aluminum and not mixing materials and that sort of thing, not just having a copper block on the bottom of aluminum or bottom of steel or something like that, actually is not that much different and it's allowing them to keep the price pretty low so that they can offer these kits here. So everything you see here, you see that kit right there, the, the water block, a little reservoir, and uh, there's your 240 with the fans. That's only gonna be um, 160, except down if you want a 120, that one's gonna be 150, and then they've got this universal sort of um, GPU water block. They said it'll fit most 1060s and 1070s, 1080s, 1090 Ti's, and then it'll even fit the big Titans and that sort of thing. That's gonna be 240 bucks for that giant thing. There you have it, EK Water Blocks. Got some, I don't know, maybe you call this a game changer, I don't know. And it's also gonna be easy to you know work with when you're talking about modding and stuff, so. All aluminum for everything. The other thing about this, the aluminum fins on this, they're not soldered, they're fused. And that's gonna be a little bit better when the water's flowing through there. Well, they got the unfortunate name of Easy Dupe. This is uh, cool for a lot of you guys out there who need to make copies of the same, I don't know. One to nine, so you put one, one here, and the thing that's really cool about this is the source can be anything. One to nine, and then if you want more, they got one to 19. They got uh, CFast everything. It's about SATA two speed, so that's about 300 megabytes a second. Pretty interesting, from Easy Dupe. There's smaller ones over here too. Let me know how many of you guys in the comments want one of these. Team Group, they make uh, memory products, usually based on Samsung IC, but uh, here's their new RGB stuff. If you guys want RGB stuff, it's the T-Force. It's 
not the uh, the fastest thing they make. T4 is extreme. Now this can go all the way up to 4133 on the limited edition over here, but the standard edition goes to around 4000 megahertz. Uh, and this is, you know, Samsung blacked out PCB with a very clean, sleek look. And then of course we've got a couple uh, M.2 NVMe SSDs. These are 240, 480. And the Cartier, the top one is the old one, and the new one they took off the heatsink. Still doing th some things to keep the thermals down, but mainly because you still you still grab you the one you want, but mainly because they wanted to make sure it could fit in laptops and this sort of thing. Because that big heatsink is not going in any laptops, so that's that. Gen three by four. So cool memory products here from a company you may not have uh, used before.